Hello and welcome to this edition of Group Talk. Today you'll be learning about ePDF from Kiel Jump. Stay tuned to the end to watch a demo of ePDF in action and listen to the answers of some great questions. And without further ado, here is Kiel. Oh, yes, hello everyone. Uh, my name is Kiel John. I will take the opportunity today to introduce you to uh, GBS ePDF server software um, and um, will hopefully spark some ideas how you can get more productive uh, with uh, digital documents uh, in your organization. First up, um, what is ePDF? Um, it is a unique software um, for businesses and organizations of all sizes to generate, transform, distribute electronic documents uh, from pretty much any type of repository, be it Lotus Notes or a file server, um, a legacy system um, or CRM system, and process these documents and electronic files uh, into a format uh, such as PDF as well as others, and by that uh, enable digital workflows um, usually paper-driven workflows uh, then and now with, uh, with uh, electronic documents. ePDF uh, has all the features that you would need to manage, maintain, assemble, uh, process, uh, secure, and redistribute electron electronic documents along um, all typical business processes or even industry-specific processes such as claims, filings, um, billing uh, cycles or billing runs, whether it is inbound or outbound, um, any type of processing um, can be enabled with ePDF. What is your organization getting from uh, introducing such capability um, into your uh, environment? Well, first of all, um, you can migrate and transform large volumes of documents, um, documents that are so far siloed in uh, Lotus Notes applications, uh, in file servers, um, CRM systems, um, any type of system that are locked away either in a proprietary format and or um, for only specific user to be accessed um, all these documents can now be unlocked, processed, automatically processed um, in high volumes um, and made available to uh, broader business processes in your organization. Of course, whatever you can automate um, will achieve more productivity for your staff, um, for the process itself, and um, it takes little imagination to uh, to see how, for example, in compliance filing uh, in the financial sector where a document, a com comprehensive document is assembled um, through ePDF in an automatic fashion um, according to a preset rule, how that gains productivity compared to a manual uh, assembly and collation of these documents um, and manual handling uh, up to the point where they may be filed. Um, um, also, of course, with productivity and automation, um, a major cost reduction uh, can be achieved. The, the cost of handling and producing documents in organizations uh, represents one of the largest untapped potentials uh, these days. Uh, many other infrastructure services and automation services are already in place and have been in place for many years. Uh, what is still um, um, underdeveloped is uh, the capability in organizations to handle electronic documents uh, throughout the entire life cycle. And that, of course, uh, promises uh, reasonable cost reductions, uh, fast return on investment, um, to introduce uh, ePDF into your organization, typically within weeks, um, um, so maybe only months, but uh, very quickly. Um, 
one major aspect as well is uh, to increase quality. Every document that gets processed according to a rule along a business process is typically of the same quality. So if it has been set up right, then it will always be of proper quality uh, as opposed to manual handling where typically the same type of claim handled by the same um, by the same claim represent, representative uh, seldomly uh, results into the same type of documentation coming out at the end. So um, error-prone manual handling steps that involve a lot of steps of, 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 of stapling and folding and uh, redistributing, uh, if to take the paper analogy, uh, are error-prone and can be circumvented with uh, utilizing uh, ePDF. And of course, um, to ensure compliance, and uh, speaking of compliance here, not necessarily only um, regulatory compliance, but also um, operational compliance. Operational compliance means uh, in this context that if management has decided or a business analyst has decided that uh, the one or the other way is the best way to run a given document-driven process, if that can be automated and put in place, um, it cannot be uh, it cannot be uh, done wrong. That uh, is one way of ensuring operational compliance. And of course, the processing of such documents may also then in the end comply to uh, regulatory uh, rules. Uh, for example, um, the U.S. courts um, mandated last year um, everything for electronic complaint filings to be in particular PDF slash A format, uh, which I will be uh, elaborating on uh, a little later. And that, of course, can, for a legal firm, be a reasonable challenge to comply uh, with uh, on, on a large scale uh, if, you know, frequent filings have to be made. Well, the use cases um, are uh, pretty obvious. Uh, any type of input management, inbound fax queue handling, inbound scan handling, mailroom processing, um, all these processes can benefit uh, from utilizing ePDF. Um, I've mentioned before regulatory filings, whether it's in the finance industry, in banking, uh, whether it is in uh, pharmaceutical, where basically every batch of, uh, uh, of pharmaceuticals produced is accompanied by a stack of uh, filing papers uh, that have to be filed with uh, the FDA. Um, and um, so this is um, is a huge uh, part of, um, of utilizing uh, ePDF uh, regulatory filings. On the same token, workflows of any sort, where documents or where business processes are driven along documents, or the other way around, uh, documents are driven along processes. Uh, whether it is in, in aircraft maintenance, where there have to be multiple sign-offs on documents. Uh, for maintenance recording uh, and filing, um, whether it is uh, claims filing, um, whether it is uh, a sales process that is supported, all these workflows that are may even exist already and have been set up in your existing applications can now be supported with uh, ePDF uh, and enhanced by driving and processing uh, your documents along these workflows. Claims processing, um, mentioned that already. Um, and, um, of course, there are many industries uh, that uh, have, in one way or another, uh, claims filing, claims processing as uh, some of their core business processes going on, um, large volumes typically even. Well, uh, one other interesting uh, use case is application retirement uh, for organizations that uh, heavily rely on Lotus Notes applications and have a far-reaching history of uh, storing documents um, in Lotus Notes applications, Lotus Notes databases. Uh, the simplest case of a Lotus Notes database is even a user mailbox. Um, but, of course, there are more sophisticated ones, um, such as uh, document libraries or CRM systems or whatever you're having, whether it's standard Lotus Notes, custom-made or third-party. Um, these applications uh, may at some point um, need to be retired um, so that you no longer need a Lotus Notes client uh, or a Lotus Notes user ID to, to access the information because you need to maintain it possibly in long term, and ePDF can automate the entire process of um, uh, 
retiring uh, a Lotus Notes application into a PDF uh, folder structure where each Lotus Notes document, including all attachments, later is resembled by a PDF, um, and it is in a folder structure that uh, can represent um, um, a form of view, a categorized view in that application of your, cho of, of your choice. Um, discovery is um, um, tremendous value to use ePDF for um, and um, sometimes even enables or makes it possible to retrieve a large number of documents to collate, to assemble, or to put together from different sources documents in electronic form that are then searchable, um, uh, retrievable, uh, and can possibly even hand it over to who, whomever uh, needs to take them further, whether it's authorities or whether it's uh, it's, it's legal representation. Um, this is tedious uh, work if it needs to be done manually and oftentimes no longer possible uh, due to the large number of documents or the diverse types of sources that the documents need to be pulled from. Email gateway conversion is uh, another um, very uh, um, uh, nice use case where you can uh, see the immediate value uh, add to your business process if you plug in ePDF um, with uh, or at your email gateway the rules can be instantly set up that uh, monitor inbound and outbound emails with file attachments and uh, apply rules as to how to treat these attachments for example secure all outbound documents in a secure PDF format so no changeable formats can um, uh, unwantedly uh, be leaving the organization. Um, the same on the inbound. And of course, um, it very nicely complements even the onboard functionality of the Lotus Notes uh, email system that uh, allows for rule based uh, uh, email filtering, uh, and ePDF complements that. How to use the ePDF services or the ePDF uh, server? Um, it's really simple. Um, there are generic interfaces that each user already is using on an everyday basis. There is no client-side software um, involved. There is no particular uh, uh, user interface um, that uh, would have to be rolled out or need, needed to be learned. It is simply a, uh, a matter of, um, for example, collecting documents in a given file share folder that ePDF is connected to. Uh, it could be that there is a simple web uh, page that is offered to users that only have a web browser that can upload documents uh, in some way or fashion and then have automatically applied a certain rule. Um, it could be um, just um, email, plain email, just like you um, typically would use a, fa a fax email service. You send something at ePDF within your environment, and that takes care of uh, submitting it to this, to this service, um, have the document processed, uh, and possibly even in your name delivered to a final recipient, um, for example, in the case of a sales proposal that needs to be assembled with additional information and collateral. Uh, this can all be set up. Of course, um, um, generic access uh, in or through Lotus Notes applications, any Lotus Notes application uh, that you have in your environment on any server in your environment, doesn't necessarily have to be on the one that hosts the ePDF software, can be um, connected to this service and a rule can be put in place as to what to do with the documents of a given status in your custom application. Uh, no programming required. It is just point and click to uh, set up such rule and uh, apply the service to a given to a given Lotus Notes application. Uh, very important, uh, scanners. Uh, existing scanners, multifunctional devices can be incorporated and, and integrated. Uh, simply having them scan to, uh, to a file folder um, on a network share that ePDF uh, uh, has been connected to. And all documents, for example, inbound invoices um, or claims get automatically picked up from there, uh, possibly.